Russian gas flows to Europe have been lower than usual for several months. The fear Russia may invade Ukraine is fueling concern about supplies. Wonderful to have our, our Washington on Monday vowed to help Europe get its gas from diverse sources around the world. We are looking at opportunities to make up for lost gas LNG from Russia. We think we could make up a significant portion of it uh, that would be lost. But you know, what everybody forgets here is Russia needs to be able to sell that gas. If there were disruptions to Russian gas supply, the Europeans could turn to the gas-producing countries in their own backyards, such as Norway. Oslo, however, says it is already delivering natural gas at maximum capacity. Another source is imports of liquefied natural gas from countries such as the United States and Qatar. There is a limit, however, to how much suppliers can produce and transport. Southern Europe can get gas from Azerbaijan via pipelines through Turkey and Italy. Imports from North Africa could be increased too. The other options include reducing consumer demand and stepping up the switch to green energy, a move Germany is working on. This year we will continue to take far-reaching decisions that will help us to use more wind energy, offshore and onshore wind energy, and solar energy, and expand the capacities, expand the grids. But such changes would take time for industry and consumers. Meanwhile, the Ukraine uncertainty and the rush to defend Europe's energy security will come at a cost, with price increases in the pipeline.